All right, now, today, you are going to look at whether the package communicates. Does it contain the product? Does it, oh, how does it dispense the product? Does it display anything? Can you carry it? Yes. Does it preserve the product? Yes. Does it protect the product? Those are functions of packages. Okay. The other thing that I want to mention real fast is the consumer. Hmm. Have you ever heard the word consume or consumer before? The consumer is the person that buys the product. The product. What are these? Cereal boxes. All of these packages are cereal boxes. Everybody, they hold what product? Everybody. Cereal. Cereal. Now, look very carefully at each of the front of the boxes. Which boxes are targeted for children? Cookie Crisp and what else? Why? Because it looked like there's this for kids. It, it, you got the captain, you got little cookie man, cookie wolf on there. The consumer buys the product. So today you're going to fill out, you're going to pick a package with your partner, okay? So we're going to start with this package right here. Who do you think the consumer is for this kind of water? Yes, sir. Okay, any of us, right? But mostly for, who mostly drinks water? Athletes. Athletes, good. Athletes drink a lot of water. What are the functions of this water bottle? It's going to what, Gay? Display. Display. Okay, good. You can see through it. You can, why do you want to see your water? Because you want to know if it's clean. You want to know if it's clean, right? What else? Yes. Carry. Okay, carry, yes. Look at the shape of this bottle. It fits right in your what? Hand. Fits right in your hands. We got display, we got carry, Elijah. Dispense. Dispense. How does this dispense? You um, open up the Go ahead, Elijah. Top, you open up the top and you drink it. Okay, so that's one way I can open it and do it this way, but this one has a special thing. Flip it off and then pull the blue thing up and then drink it. Exactly. It does communicate. And what does it communicate to you? That it's what kind of water? Smart water. Smart water. What if this didn't have a lid on it? It holds the water so none of the water comes out. What does an engineer call something when it holds it? Angel? Contain. Contain. Let me ask you this. Will it protect it? How so? Okay, so what's it made out of? Plastic. It's made out of plastic, he said. Why do you think, oh, it's made out of plastic. Yes, sir. Because it won't break. It won't break. And we just said that athletes use it a lot, right? Athletes run, they do lots of things. Do you think they want a glass water bottle? No. It's perfect for them. What about preserve. Shashir. If there was no bottle, all the germs will all the germs will get inside and you will be so sick. Do we want dirty water? No. 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 This does it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Does all the things, all the functions <laughs> of a package. All right. So when you get your package, you're going to fill out this chart. The package is an actual what? Bottle. Bottle. And then the product is? Fresh product is Febreze. Febreze, good. Well, consumer means, I heard that like consumer means it's something that, um, oh, the person who bought it. Yeah, um, Miss Coyle. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that's correct. It is the correct answer. But 
why would I use it instead of, let's say, you or my dog or my son? No, you have to use it because it's too fresh in your house. Okay. okay, so it's the person who cleans the house. It can be plastic. plastic. It is plastic. It's plastic. Like the bottles of water. How does it dispense? How do I get the coffee out? Mm. Open the top you or the top you pull it over there. Every minute you pull it out. So it can really be two ways, right? Okay, good, good. I like, I like to put this back and I like to drink it out of this right here, okay? Let me ask you a question. Why do you think that Dunkin' Donuts made this out of styrofoam? Is it like in the when you took it, it could, you could probably, probably drop it in, it in the whole thing crack open. Mm -hmm. If you drop it, it won't come, come through or it won't break. break. Okay, so you all think it, it's because it won't break. What do you guys think? I think because that, because that, when you have something hot in it, it doesn't get hot. It doesn't get hot? Well, what doesn't get hot? The, um, um. um. The cup. the cup, so I can hold it with my hand, which goes back to which function? Okay, all right, so let's think about the functions. Is it communicate, dispense, carry? Um, carry. So the styrofoam makes it easy for me to carry because now it's not hot, okay? But it not only keeps the outside from getting hot, what does it do to the inside? Keep it warm. Ah. So, what is the package? A bag. You kind of have a, a, a... Let me ask you this. Because the bag is inside of the wrapping. Okay, so what's the, you have something on the outside. What is this? A plastic bag. So let's write that down. Plastic bag. And then... On the inside of the plastic bag, what's that? Cardboard. Kind of like cardboard, so it's kind of like a cardboard bag. What's special about that bag on the inside? It holds, it holds the popcorn. It communicates. So you just answered the product. I want to go ahead and open the plastic bag, okay? Uh, it folds. Okay, so it it, it... it folds and it holds the popcorn seeds. It holds the popcorn seeds, but what's special about this bag? It can go somewhere that uh, that this bag cannot go. In the microwave. Ah, in the microwave. So this is a special bag designed for what? Microwave. The microwave. Okay. If you put plastic in the uh, microwave, it will blow. Exactly. It'll melt, right? So we can't put this one in there, but this one has been specially designed for it to go in the microwave. For it to go in the microwave. So why don't you put that down? I want you to turn to the second page and write how would you improve your package. I can make one of these, but smaller. I can make it smaller. Or travel size, yeah. I can, I can shrink it. Oh wow, so you have designed something to go inside this that would cook the popcorn inside the bag? Very cool. Yesterday, you did these, I just put a couple up here. So they had wax paper, and what are some properties of the product? Let's look at the wax paper. What are some properties of this wax paper, Angel? You can see a little bit through it. Let's see a little bit through it. I can see shadows, right? Yeah. What else? Um, yes. It's kind of a rectangular shape. Oh. It's kind of a rectangular shape. If Miss Coyle paid more attention to how she ripped it, I could have a perfect rectangle, right? Okay, uh, what about this one? It's light. It's light, 
Yes. Okay, so that's what it meant by properties, okay? What about properties of the package itself? We said it was long, okay? What else? It's opaque. What does that mean? It means that you can't see through it. Beautiful. What else? What shape is it? Well, it's like a rectangle, but when it's a box and it's a rectangle, we call that a rectangular prism. Say that. Prism. Good. Okay. It's a 3D shape. It's a 3D shape. Exactly. They went ahead in the engineering design process and they said how they would redesign their, uh, their package. They said, I would make this package on the top of a shelf so it would be quicker. What do you mean by that, Kevin? So it can be quicker to get. Okay, so you would kind of put it on a shelf so that it would be really easy to pull out and to tear. You know what, as someone who cooks a lot, I like that idea. The main ideas I wanted the kids to take away from that lesson was that packaging, packages have a, have a purpose. First, they need to, to hold the product or contain the product or you know all the different functions that a package has but they also need to meet the needs of the consumer consumer was hard for my kids and that's why I brought in the the cereal boxes to me it was a really good visual for them for them to see you know how packaging engineers uh, kind of target the consumer and then gives them an idea of what consumer actually was that was a lot of vocabulary to introduce to my kids at one time I was glad that you know, Mr. Stratton had read that, that unit this, that morning about when they had gone to the souk and, and seen all the different packages and talked about all the different things, that, all the different functions of a package. So I was able to connect directly to what he had done that morning, to where he had kind of started the vocabulary, to where I could carry on with the vocabulary. Well, my favorite, my favorite package was I liked the microwave popcorn. And as I was going around collecting things, it, it, one of the suggestions was a microwave bowl. Well, I didn't have a microwave bowl. And I'm looking, 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 I'm like, ah, microwave popcorn, how perfect, you know, because it does all the things that um, a microwave bowl does, but it, it's a little twist to it, you know? You know, of course, the kid's favorite was the, the C-3PO Star Wars toy. Everybody wanted that. Another favorite was the um, styrofoam coffee cup because I didn't have a to-go container, but I saw that and I'm like, ah, oh, what a cool way to bring in insulation. The group that had the coffee cup really didn't get the fact that it was insulating it, but they did say, they, they were able to say that it, you know, it kept it hot on the inside and cool on the outside so that you could carry it. I just, I thought that one was a cool one too. But, and when I, when I went back to think about how am I gonna distribute these, I was like, I'm just gonna get as many as I can find and then I'm gonna let them pick. Because I felt like they're gonna have more ownership over that package if I let them pick it. Mm -hmm.